Welcome to Ascent. My name's Martin Fordham, and today I'd like to introduce you to our condensing waterless condensers. Condensing are very simple, but very effective air condensers. And they work pretty much just as effectively as a water-cooled condenser of the Liebig variety. But the main difference being, well, no water use. A Liebig condenser will use on average around two liters of water per minute, which is quite a high rate. And if you work out how many hours a day your condensers could be running for, and how many you have in a in a, the department, it could be quite a considerable volume of water. Not just an environmental concern, but a, a serious cost concern. And again, depending on your usage, uh, many departments have found that Investing in condensing takes less than six or even three months to repay for itself in water costs alone. And from that point on, you've got a continuing environmental benefit and cost benefit, of course. Eliminating water usage in a theme hood removes any issues at all with flooding, the ability to run safely overnight, and also the chance, if you're still using an oil bath, and you should now be using Dryson, of course, the chance of water dripping into the oil bath causing superheated steam to blow the oil all over the fume hood with a potential fire risk associated with that. Condensing can work with any round bottom flask from as small as you wish up to a one litre volume. We have three different sizes. We have a 200 millimeter effective length. This size is suitable for round bottom flasks up to 100 milliliter volume. Here we have the 350 millimeter effective length version suitable for round bottom flasks up to 500 milliliters. And then for volumes up to one liter round bottom flasks, we have a 450 millimeter effective length condensing. So how does condensing work? Well, it's a combination of things. The shape is very important, not just for increasing surface area, but, but for the deceleration of gases, giving them more time to dissipate their energy into the glass and then into the fume hood. Independent tests against a Liebig condenser have proven that the performance is pretty much identical. So you can confidently replace much of your experimentation under reflux conditions in your laboratory using condensing. Condensing has these anti-roll pips that stop the condenser from moving. Very important not to have them rolling off onto the laboratory floor and breaking. Condensing is made of borosilicate glass, so more than suitable for all of your chemistry requirements. Also very easy to clean and you can put it into drying cabinets without any issues. If you were to break a condensing, one of the sockets, most local glass blowers can easily repair these without having to purchase a whole new unit. Of course, socket size is important and we carry stocks of all sizes that you require. So whatever flask socket size you have, there's a condensing to suit. I'll put some links below in this video so you can find out more about the performance of condensing from real end users. And if you'd like to find out about costs or a bit more information from one of our salespeople, please drop a message to inquiries at ascent.com. Once again, thank you very much for watching this Ascent video in my kitchen, and we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.